Hi students, I hope all of you are doing well. So in this video, I'm planning to complete the topic contiguous memory allocation scheme. So in the last class, we have seen that there are two categories of memory allocation schemes. They are contiguous memory allocation and the second one is non-contiguous memory allocation. So in this video, I'm planning to complete the topic contiguous memory allocation. So as the name itself indicates in contiguous memory allocation scheme, the operating system has to allocate a single contiguous block of memory to the program. That is a concept we have. So to do so, the operating system, initially it is going to divide the memory into blocks of some standard size. Say for example, some blocks of size say, 256 kilobytes, some blocks of size 512 kilobytes, and so on. So initially, the memory is divided into blocks of some standard size. And after that, each process is allocated with a single contiguous block of memory that is sufficient to store that process. The block allocated to that process must be large enough to store that particular program. So to maintain this, the operating system has to keep track of allocated as well as free memory blocks. The operating system will continuously monitor the allocated blocks as well as the free memory blocks. Because when a new process is to be allocated with memory, the operating system has to check which of the memory blocks are already allocated and which are free to allocate, depending on the size of the program and depending on the blocks available, the operating system is going to decide which block is to be allocated. Students, again, remember the contiguous memory allocation scheme will also suffer from internal fragmentation. Many of the times it so happens that the memory block which is allocated to a process may not be completely utilized by it. So it leads to memory fragmentation that is particularly internal memory fragmentation. So to overcome this, to overcome this, again, the operating system can apply the method called memory compaction. As we discussed in the last class, memory compaction is a technique which is uh, going to shift all the free memory space at one side so that it can be reutilized by the other programs. But however, while performing memory compaction, we require a special register called relocation register. Suppose if this register is not found in the architecture of the system, it creates uh, a problem while performing this operation. Students, uh, in case of contiguous memory allocation scheme, we have different algorithms. Again, we have different techniques which are used for contiguous memory allocation. Particularly, here we are going to discuss about three memory allocation techniques. They are first fit algorithm, best fit algorithm, and worst fit algorithm. As the name itself indicates, in case of first fit algorithm, the operating system allocates the first free block of memory that is large enough to store the program. The operating system is going to allocate the first free block of memory, which is large enough to store the process. The concept is simple. When the process is to be allocated, the operating system is going to scan the list of free memory blocks. It will allocate the first free block, which is large enough to store that particular program. So it is uh, uh, one of the easiest method we can say, right? So it requires less time because the moment when it finds the first free block, which is large enough to store that program, that particular block is allocated to the process. Next, we have best fit algorithm. So the best fit algorithm 
it allocates the smallest free memory block that is large enough to store the process. Please try to understand uh, the best fit concept. The concept is like this. The operating system is going to allocate the smallest free block, which is sufficient to store the process. To do so, the operating system has to scan the entire list of free memory blocks because it has to find the smallest free block which is sufficient to store that particular program. The advantage of this particular algorithm is that there is less wastage of memory space. We are going to allocate the smallest free block, but however, that block must be uh, sufficient to hold that particular program. Due to this, the advantage what we get is it will lead to less wastage of memory space. But on the other hand, it requires some time for scanning the entire list of free memory blocks. Next, uh, we have third algorithm, which is known as worst fit algorithm. Students, in case of worst fit, the operating system is going to allocate the largest free memory block, which is sufficient to store that particular process. Here, you might be wondering that why operating system will allocate the largest block, right? Certainly, it leads to wastage of memory space. But however, many of the times, the size of the program will be unknown. And even there is a chance that the size of the program may increase dynamically. So in that case, the operating systems may prefer employing worst fit algorithm for the programs. But again, when you consider worst fit technique, here also the operating system has to search the entire list of free blocks because it has to decide which is the largest free block where the program can be accommodated, right? That's why here also, the operating system require some time for searching the largest block. But certainly we get uh, the problem, that is we get some disadvantage. The disadvantage is that there is every chance that the larger portion of that memory block may get wasted, okay. So we have totally three algorithms in the contiguous memory allocation. Remember students, first one is first fit technique where the operating system is going to allocate first free block of memory that is big enough to store the process. So here uh, the operating system need not to scan the entire list. The moment when it gets first free block directly, there the process is stored. But the condition is that that block must be greater than or equal to the size of the process. Then next you have best fit. Here, the operating system is going to allocate the smallest free memory block, which is large enough to store the process. But here, the problem is that the operating system has to search entire list of free memory blocks to find out which is the smallest block that can accommodate the process of required size. But the advantage we get is it leads to less wastage of memory space. Then next we have worst fit technique. This particular technique might be used when the size of the program is unknown and when the program size increases uh, dynamically due to uh, usage of dynamic data in the programs. Okay, so in the worst fit technique, the operating system is going to allocate the largest free memory block, which is sufficient to store the process. But again, in the worst fit technique also, the operating system has to scan the entire list of free memory blocks, but it produces a large portion of the memory block which remain unused. Please try to understand, we have some disadvantage with worst fit technique. The disadvantage is that many of the times, the program may not utilize the complete memory space. It leads to internal 
fragmentation students uh, based on these uh, contiguous memory allocation techniques here we have one of the example we have rather a problem you might expect such problems in the exam also uh, the problem is like this uh, he has given the question like this consider six memory partitions of size 200 kilobyte 400 kilobyte 600 kilobyte 500 kilobyte 300 kilobyte and 250 kilobytes we have totally six memory blocks of different size these partitions that is these memory blocks need to be allocated to four processes whose size are 357 210 468 and 491 kilobytes and these processes they arrive in the same order as they are given in the problem okay now the question is that you have to perform the allocation of memory to the processes using first fit algorithm best fit algorithm and worst fit algorithm students please try to understand here he has given six memory blocks of different size and he has given four different programs or processes with different size and we have to perform allocation of memory by using three algorithms first fit best fit and worst fit okay first uh, let us discuss about first fit algorithm so already we have discussed about first fit algorithm in case of first fit algorithm the operating system is going to allocate the first free memory block which is large enough to store that particular process right that is the concept we have seen now let us see how it can be applied okay first uh, consider we have a process of size 357 kilobytes i am going to scan these memory blocks uh, step by step first i'll check for 200 kilobytes right we cannot accommodate the program of size 357 357 kilobytes in first block because the size of the block is 200 kilobytes which is less than the size of the process then we move to the second block the second block size is 400 kilobytes now you check whether this program of size 357 kilobytes can be accommodated yes it can be accommodated so i'm going to allocate this second block to the process p1 then after that we have next process that is uh, the process with size 210 kilobytes okay again i'm going to scan the blocks from first one first one is 200 kilobyte cannot be accommodated cannot be allocated for process p2 second block already allocated so third block it is of size 600 kilobytes so now the second program 210 kilobyte size will be stored in the third block because we have to allocate first free block whose size is greater than or equal to size of the process right so after that i'll consider the third process whose size is 468 kilobytes now this process again for allocating memory to this process again you scan from first block 200 kilobytes cannot cannot be accommodated for this second and third block they are already allocated then i'll go for third sorry i'll go for fourth block the fourth memory block is of size 500 kilobytes now the size of the process is 468 kilobytes certainly it can be accommodated in the fourth block as size of that block is 500 kilobytes so now we have allocated memory space to first process second process and third process then we are left with the last process whose size is 491 kilobytes right okay now for allocating memory space to this process again you scan the blocks right now we are left with the memory blocks with size 200 kilobytes 300 kilobytes and 250 kilobytes but none of these blocks 
can accommodate the program of size 491 kilobytes that's how what happens is the process p4 cannot be allocated with memory space by using this uh, memory allocation scheme this is because none of the partition can satisfy the request of the process number 4 so this is how the first fit algorithm works what we have seen is in case of first fit technique the operating system is going to allocate first free memory block which is large enough to store that particular program right similarly uh, we have best fit algorithm and worst fit algorithm okay so in the uh, best fit algorithm already we have seen that it has to allocate the smallest free block which is large enough to store the program means the operating system has to search the entire list from that list it has to allocate the smallest free block where that process can be accommodated students uh, just you take it as excels exercise and solve the problem similarly we have worst fit algorithm so in the worst fit algorithm we know that the operating system has to allocate the largest block largest block which is sufficient to store the program based on that this problem is been solved so just you go through the ppt uh, you will come to know the solution for these two uh, bits that is best fit algorithm and worst fit algorithm students this is all about contiguous memory allocation schemes thank you